Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a review on The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling. This is the second book in her Cameron Strike series, I guess you could say? I don't I don't know if it has another title other than that. I read The Cuckoo's Calling last year and I did a review of it. I will leave a link to that video down below. In this novel we are following Detective Strike as he is hired because a writer named Owen Quinn has gone missing and so Mrs. Quinn hires Detective Strike strike to find out where her husband went. Uh, she believes that he has kind of just disappeared. He does that on occasion and goes on sort of like a writer's retreat or just kind of pulls himself away while he works on his novels. She hires Strike to go find him because she is in need of money and things like that. And, but as Strike looks into the missing novelist, it looks like there might be more to the story than just him disappearing on his own. There is a book that the author has written that could be considered slightly slanderous in terms of the way that the characters portray people who actually belong in the publishing industry so there might be more to the story than just the writer going missing. Like I said I read The Cuckoo's Calling last year and I liked the story but I wasn't like super crazy about it like I thought it was just like an okay mystery book. I like mystery novels and I like mystery series so I was fine with reading it. I gave it a three out of five stars. This one is definitely a much stronger book. You can tell that Rowling is getting more into the groove of writing a mystery novel. I'm not sure if it's just because the first novel had a lot of setup, like you have to talk about who Strike is and who his assistant Robin is and just their relationship and just providing a lot of background and so now that we have that background this book is able to just delve into the actual mystery a lot more as well as build on top of that. One of the things that I was slightly disappointed in in the first book was the fact that there wasn't a lot of Robin in that book like she does play a key part in solving the mystery in the first book but in this one you find out a lot more about her as a character and you get to see the relationship between Strike and Robin develop a lot more which is really interesting. Also I just think the mystery in general for this one is a lot more interesting than the first one was. Just seeing the story unfold I was a lot more intrigued by what was going on and I found that the ending was more surprising to me than the first book was. When the mystery is solved at the end of the first book I wasn't necessarily surprised by that ending. Like I didn't necessarily guess who was the culprit but I also wasn't surprised by who was revealed to be the culprit. In this one, I had no idea who was going to be revealed as the culprit till like it was actually revealed. Like I was sitting there, this book is about 450 pages long and I was sitting there at page 400 going, what is going on? Who is behind all of this? It was so interesting to me just the contrast behind it. So if like me you're someone who liked The Cuckoo's Calling or you know even if you weren't really crazy about it, I might still suggest picking up The Silkworm if you like mystery novels because I think this is a much stronger mystery novel and I can definitely see development and growth in Rowling's writing in this book and that's a really interesting thing to say especially because she has such a popular series out but I think in terms of mysteries you can see her growing quite a lot with this book. Is this necessarily the best mystery novel I've ever read? No, I mean Agatha Christie will always be the queen of the mystery novel for me but I definitely can see Rowling taking steps in the right direction which is always good and the fact that I finished this in a couple of days and kind of wanted to like you know not work and read this book is always a plus in my book. In the end I gave this book a three and a half out of five stars. Like I said it was really good it was really interesting and I liked the vast majority of this book. I would say that the only negatives I really had about this book is the fact that it gets a little bit of insidery baseball in terms of the publishing industry. When when you're reading a book and it has to do with the publishing industry and there's a lot of like complaints or people talking about the flaws of the publishing industry or things like that, it's hard not to take that as a critique from the author. Obviously JK Rowling has a lot of experience in the industry so it's hard not to just feel like the commentary that's made about the publishing industry isn't just commentary coming from Rowling herself disguised in a novel, um, which is also really interesting especially since a lot of the mysteries in this book is surrounded by the fact that the author that has gone missing has written a novel that seems to be alluding to people in the publishing industry. And also as someone who is obviously into books and publishing and things like that, I don't mind that side of the world being exposed but I don't know if this would necessarily be appealing to people who 
aren't so into the publishing world, I could very easily see people being very confused by the number of characters that are in the novel and considered suspects because they just have various jobs throughout the publishing industry. And so I could see people getting confused by all of these different characters. And so that is definitely the reason why I didn't quite give this a four star rating. But again, still a very positive experience and definitely a much better experience than I had with The Cuckoo's Calling, even though that was relatively positive as well. So if you like mystery novels, I definitely recommend this book. Um, if you're someone who's only read like the Harry Potter series, I can't necessarily say that you will love this book. If you've read like Agatha Christie or some other mystery novels, not necessarily thrillers, but straight up mystery novels, then this might be something worth checking out. But if you haven't read any mystery novels, you still might be interested in this book. So yeah, those are my thoughts on The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. If you have read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought of it. Or if you read The Cuckoo's Calling, let me know what you thought of that book and if you're thinking about picking up this series at all. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.